Good morning, kids. It's uh, 9, 8, 54. It's media day. So, basically, if you don't know, we opened a gym, Third Street Barbell. Um, and alongside that, cohesively with that, uh, we dropped Third Street Athletics, Third Street Barbell, Good Company. Some questions about that. What are like the names and why is it called Good Company and not Third Street Barbell, et cetera, et cetera. Well, basically, Good Company is our, our slogan, our motto. We want to do things with people we love. We want to do things with people we enjoy being around. Uh, I would rather do a shitty task with someone who makes it fun than go to Disneyland with someone I hate. I love Disneyland. And no, I'm not the weird adult princess loving. I don't watch Disney movies every night. I don't want to watch Cinderella. I like Disney because of the time and thought, the environment, the attention to detail that they capture in the experience of the amusement park the storytelling, etc. okay? I'm, I'm not calling myself Aladdin and looking for my Jasmine, okay? Long story short, Good Company, I think, has a broader message from a business branding standpoint and from a creative standpoint of me making the clothes, making the items that we want uh, to share with you guys. Uh, we're all about community, and so the physical community, Third Street Barbell, I can't share with the YouTube fam who supported me for eight years. My Twitch fam who's had my back. The loyalty's insane there for four years. The the Instagram, the podcast, everyone who supports us, I want to be able to share with you. It doesn't mean you have to purchase anything, but we want to share the stories with you through clothing and design. I'll give you a little sneak peek behind this, but basically, so we're revving up for that. So, uh, uh, chilling in the gym, going to grab some food. The boys come in, um, basically the story, the branding, the, the launch of this is kind of our first big winter launch. We got a lot of hoodies, sweats, uh, tees, beanies, etc. Um, and our very first photo shoot was just me and the team. Uh, Connor, Jim, Kyle, uh, and it was revolving around the construction of this gym, which took us six months. So this next one, we're bringing in our core homies that have supported us forever, Dan, Marcus, Riley, um, you know, whether that's through, you know, love, I know it sounds corny, but really, lo loyalty, um, or, or literally physical labor, literally supporting us and believing in what we do. So uh, they're all going to be part of the photo shoot, my little bro Mike Sean showing up, uh, basically, we'll just have a lifting session. So, Connor will try to capture some of that for you in the new clothes. I'm going to try to vlog it and get B-roll so we can get a little montage for the um, Instagram and, and promo, whatever. Uh, typically, we like to be on top of things as we can, but when you have like a launch style business, when you're not like a grocery store or um, a car dealer and your business revolves around sections of new items um, and especially us because I want to create new stuff all the time and things aren't large scale the two to three weeks around the launch are insane we got to get the website ready the media ready the the fulfillment ready we're doing all our fulfillment ourselves obviously the design meanwhile I'm working on designs for the next launch which is uh, I guess two launches from now so I, I have we're trying to go, you know, every eight weeks or so to not cloud this space and still come up with cool stuff. So I already have eight weeks out and then we got another 16 weeks out. I'm working on those designs, um, which will leave us in March or April. Um, exciting, but stressful. So Connor's got all the video uh, uh, pictures tonight. The boys are coming. I'll probably try to lift, but I'll also have to film. So hopefully I can get some vlog footage for y'all. Very, very least some B-roll so you can see what it kind of looks like. Um, excited to train with the boys, excited to see them in the stuff that I've created. Uh, that's kind of given me the most fulfillment so far in this process. Obviously people enjoying the space and lifting here and looking around like, damn, this is really pretty and the artwork's cool and the woodwork's cool. Only them enjoying the space, them seeing things that I've designed from the ground. Not, not only like creation of design of like the logo, the illustrations, the design of the shirt but the clothing itself we're making we're making the clothing you know so it's 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 something i put a lot of thought passion and time into a lot of research i'm constantly looking for inspirations and 
whether that be life or art or graffiti or other clothing or um, things from my past. Uh, a lot of things from my past that I either like to wear or I was always visually attracted to, I'm trying to weave into what we're doing. And so like presenting it to people is a little nerve wracking for me, you know, like people will give you critique and they, they mean well, hey man, that's cool, but I don't like this. Like that's cool. Not that I can't take critique, um, but it just feels, my little guts get nervous, you know? My little guts get nervous having people do it. And, 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 and they won't always understand why I did something because some of it's logistics. Some things have to do with, oh, we literally, you can't put, you know, zebra print on a camera and sell the camera. Like some things are literally just logistically impossible, but some things are story and design wise why I did them. So uh, yeah, that's the rant for the day I shaved. Getting the jawline back, boys. Model face. I'm just warming up for later. Let the people know. Picture's coming, appreciate you. Uh, nine o'clock on the dot. I gotta get some food in me, maybe another coffee. Photo shoots at like four, so we still got a day to go. Off a call, a lot of people questioned on Instagram like what my jobs were. I do a lot of things, <laughs> um, marketing, branding, et cetera, but um, one of my main jobs is coaching, educating, entertaining. So creating content through that, and then also my company called Kaizen, um, where we sell educational programs of content. So I just got off a call with that. We need content for future Instagram posts. And so I'm giving you a behind the scenes of how dumb it is to take pictures of myself by myself for that. So I'm setting up a video and I'm gonna do an exercise with the video and then screenshot that with a dumb post. And since posts do well, here's a marketing tip, normally with like eye contact or staring into the camera to make that human connection, I'm gonna look really stupid staring into my camera by myself. There's one and now I'm gonna do one by the cable. Now you take those, you pause them, you screenshot them, and you ship them off to my boy Matty to use. Everything in life is kind of always a work in progress, but this gym is much a work in progress as we're waiting on equipment to keep coming in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I just got to call that uh, the turf's on the way. So we're gonna get turf in this afternoon. We've been debating on how and where to place the turf. Um, because we want somewhere potentially for sleds, but mostly just like mobility, um, roll out, chill space. And obviously we went with this concrete look um, because we love the look of the concrete. And then also the platforms will distinguish where you put your weights and where you put your barbells. But now it's kind of uncomfortable to sit anywhere. So we're building out this as a cardio section, this entire wall here. Um, it's obviously schmedium, but functional now. And I'm gonna lay this entire thing with turf. We talked about turf in the entire strip of the middle here from my hand out the door for more functional med ball sleds. But for now, I think this is probably 30 by 17 feet that we're getting of turf. And so the cardio will sit on it slightly. Um, but then on top of that, you'll be able to lay down, put your bags, people can kind of throw their bags there, be a little bit more comfortable. And they said they're coming before one it's about 11.30, so I'm gonna clean up this area, quick sweep, uh, move the cardio out of the way, and then uh, hopefully hopefully it's here and easy to move. I don't know. We didn't like pay installation or anything, and so who knows what the heck the process of getting it from the truck in the front to where I want it to go will be, but away we go. Ran home, ate some chippy potle burrita. Now we're in the back. Uh, Connie's getting to work on steaming the clothes, making sure they're nice and um, straight. Although we're doing a live shoot, action shoot, um, workout based. Still just want to kind of get things in line so they're not um, super wrinkly. Uh, here's here's the sneak peek. You can try to freeze frame it or do what you got to do, but this is all you get. We got about 70% of the stuff in. 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh, oh that's all you got. So about 70% in, the next, uh, last 25 is supposed to be in tomorrow. Um, and then we'll do one more shoot. So we'll have to probably do one more shoot with just me or somebody else, a couple items to catch up, and then we'll do the still shots, stuff that goes on the website. We've been using this cool gray background. It's like the typical thing you would do on a website, like a product shot where it'll either be the item on a desk or an item on a human, but it's like on a white screen or green screen. We just think it's cool to use our own building, our own flair. It's still a plain enough background that you get the clothing and the colors to pop, uh, so you can focus on the designs, you don't get distracted. Um, and it's probably just something you don't, not as eye-catching, so you don't use it on Instagram. It's like a big deadlift with the item on, etc. So uh, that's where we are. The crew's rolling in. We've got a crew in about 5, crew in about 6.30, excuse me. And then uh, hopefully wrap it, because Mikey boy's got to get back here at 5 in the morning. <laughs>